Hello, today we're going to see how to do a, a, a calculate the linear regression of a series of data that we have in Excel. We're, go, we're going to do it two ways. Uh, the first one we're going to use a graph. So if you want to do the graph you can select the the series that you want, either one of them or all of them. Uh, you have to go to insert, scatter and use the graph that most suits your um, your exercise. In this case we'll use the scatter one, the first one, and here in the graph if you want to modify anything from the graph you can just click on the element and right click there. For example I want to format the title, I can choose this axis and format this axis, I can choose the other axis, format the axis, I can use I can choose uh, one of the series there you see and format that data series, change format. I can do that from this menu, right click or I can do it from Format to the option in Chart Tools, very easy. If I want to add an element, for example, if I want to add, um, add in this case the uh, line uh, uh, of regression, um, I can do it two ways. I can either go here and add the trend line here and choose which one I want, or I can click on the plus and add the trend line there. Which option, which series do you want? Do I want? Well series number 5 for example, click on OK that adds that, I can click on again on the um, on the trend line and uh, if I want to change the format I can do it from there or I can go to the quick menu and say no I don't want the dashes, I want the straight line, so that's quick I can change again the color, whatever I want, ok, if I want to change how, uh, the zoom there, I can change the units of the axis very easy, okay. Very easily, and then if I want to add here the uh, the equation, I can go on the right click, go on the options, and display the equation on the yard square. Again, I can change the size there, or what I want the element. So that's the equation with the y equals mx plus uh, c and the r squared. Um, I have done that uh, with a graph. I will do that. Uh, I can do that with equations. I can either uh, the first option that we're going to do with equations is choosing um, uh, an array formula, uh, which is line nest. Line nest does not only res uh, give one result, produce one result, but it produces uh, various in an in ar array. If we just um, if we just do line nest on a cell, it will only produce the M as a result. So I'm going to choose a series of uh, cells, okay? Um, and then I will write my formula. I can do that manually. I can do that with a wizard. Uh, if I do it manually, I can follow the the options here. So I want the Y's would be this ones, the X's would be this ones. Constant. Constant uh, gives me the option of choosing y intercept as zero or not. If you put false, it's, it's equal to zero. I want to have it uh, different from zero, so I'll use the true. If I want, um, if I want to it to return all the other statistics, uh, I would have to set this as as true. Um, I would set it up as true. Uh, I would set it as true because I want the R squared, and if not, it will only give me the M and the Y intercept. So that's finished. Once I've finished an array formula, I have to click on the Control Shift and enter um, keys at the same time. Um, don't worry about the not available. That means that there's no result there. Um, so you'll see that it's an array formula because it has that uh, key brackets. Um, what are the results I'm given? This is the M here, this is the, um, uh, as you see that this is the, uh, the y intercept, the constant, uh, the, the constant that you receive in the graph is an approximation of this one which is calculated with more precision, that's the errors on, on those uh, values, that's the r squared, okay, um, so um, and that's some other uh, statistics that you can you can find easily in Google or with the help of uh, the help option in in Excel. 
Um, I can calculate also this uh, values uh, manually. So if I want the slope, I can use the slope option. Those are the y's. Those are the x's. And then that's the m. If I want this, uh, that's the slope. If I want the y-intercept, I can use the intercept formula. I choose here the options there, and the axes are here. If I want the r squared, here's the formula r s q with the y's and the axes, and I get a, a similar value, of course. Um, all these formulas are um, can be found in through the wizard under the statistical uh, option. They are all here and many more. And I can also go into formulas and more functions and see the statistical formulas there. Okay. Uh, so that's th three ways basically of getting the trend line. Uh, line of regression and all the m the slope and the y intercept i hope that helps